What is good, DVP Squad? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Before we go and announce the winner of the exhaust giveaway, we have to go and give a huge shout out to our partners over at Flexi Spot for supporting today's video. Right here behind me, we actually have one of Flexi Spot's E7 standing desk series alongside their E7 ergonomic chair. And since I process all of the merchandise in house, this Flexi Spot E7 standing desk has come in clutch considering I can go just on the fly to whatever feels most comfortable. It's as simple as a touch of a button. And when it comes to the build quality of the E7 standing desk, this thing is so nice because we can go and take this glass of water. She ain't spilling. This E7 standing desk can support up to 440 pounds, which I doubt your computer is weighing that much. But ever since I switched and had the option to stand at a desk, it has been really nice to change it up and gives my back a break. Flexi Spot's E7 ergonomic chair is also a huge W in my eyes because the lumbar support keeps your back nice and straight. Flexi Spot offers many different types of standing desks alongside their ergonomic chairs to fit your specific needs. If you're wanting that really stable standing desk, I highly recommend their E7 series as I've been loving mine. And right now, guys, you can actually save money on their E7 standing desk by using my promo code Derek Baron 30 which you can find in the description alongside the clickable link flexi spot I appreciate you guys a ton but I got to get back to work All right, guys, let's get it, man. We got a winner for the January Valve Exhaust giveaway. And before we go any farther, I just got to go put this personal message out there from DBP from right here. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for repping the brand, repping the channel, buying the merchandise. Like, it really means a lot. And it's probably one of the coolest things I get to experience in life is people buying something with your name on it and having like that product mixed throughout the whole United States is just probably one of the most like mind blowing experiences that I still can't really wrap my head around. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all so much. Like it does not go unnoticed. And I do want to apologize for such a delay. As soon as like all that started happening, we bought a house and it was one thing to another to another. We finally have it today. So shout out to Renee out of Georgia. Thank you so much, man, and congrats, which I kind of tried to bamboozle him. We'll pop it up on the screen right here, but I tried to play it like low key and kind of smooth. I was like, hey there, is this Renee? This is DVP. I wanted to reach out to see if you could take a call at 12 p.m. Eastern time regarding your merch. Just calling random customers to get their feedback on quality and such so I can share it with my supplier. Let me know if that works for you. I did wait a little bit and then he hit me with the response. Hey man, I would love to, but sadly I'm on the clock and won't be able to talk on the phone. I'm loving the quality of the merch though. I'm actually wearing my DVP black hoodie right now. I love it. One of my favorite hoodies. Thought that was really cool and I mean, how perfect is that? Okay. What if I lied to you and told you you're actually the winner of the exhaust and I need to have you hop on a call for the vlog? Gotta do it for you guys. Let's fire this up, shoot Renee a FaceTime, and see where it goes. Answer Renee! Oh, yo, what's good, bro? <laughs> what's going on, man? Hell yeah, brother. Putting those hours in, huh? I like the hoodie. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Well, that hoodie right there and that shirt you bought won you the exhaust, bro. <laughs> you have a you have a Mustang, right? Yeah, I have a 2014 Cali Special. Oh, Cali Special S197. Okay, okay. We're gonna put together an exhaust kit for you. I'm, I have your information and stuff now, so just wanted to hop on here. You know, you're you're on vlog. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll be in tonight's video. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> it was good talking with you, and thank you for entering. Uh, I hope you enjoy your merch and stuff, and you know we're gonna get that exhaust set up for you here shortly and get that sent out. Yeah, good, man. All right, bro. Hey, it was good talking with you, man. Have a good rest of your day, and uh, keep out, keep a lookout for my text. All right, don't leave my number. Don't leave my number. I got your address. I got your number. I got everything. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll talk to you. Have a good one. But do your boy the favor. Drop a like up on this video, guys. Y'all have been crushing it. Let's hit 2,000 likes on this video. Drop a comment. Say what's up. I try to respond to everybody. And most importantly, let's reach that goal of 300,000 subscribers. I know we can do it. So everybody subscribe button right now with the bell notifications. But here we go. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Kind of a sad day because this is the last and final day of our journey here in Ponies in the Smokies, which I can honestly say I'll be back. I will be back. I know the squad wants to be back, but next year we're probably going to bring more people, bigger cabin, get everybody all in one place and, you know, do the whole week again. To sum it up, this is like more my speed, more my environment. It's not like hectic. 
It's not hot, beautiful views. Like this is, I know you guys have seen it plenty of times in the videos, but has been insane. And if my people are watching this right now, go as far as saying book these dates instead of Mustang weekend. I'm just gonna put that out there. It is the definition of the perfect event to where you can have Mustangs all in one place and actually use your Mustang. Like Mustang week, well, I've been going since 2015, but it has not changed. It has been the same, rinse and repeat. Burnouts, parking lots, sweating. Been super grateful to go and enjoy it, meet a lot of you guys, but this is this is the new spot. I'm telling you, this is the new spot. Let's, uh, let's see how the boys enjoyed their time here today. This trip, uh, look at this cabin right here. Never stay here, highly don't recommend it. I was attacked in the middle of the night, I don't know by what creature. It could have been him just looking for food. But I got bit right on my neck before I got here. <laughs> Ponies in the Smokies, you guys gotta be here next year. We're actually gonna rent a really nice cabin. And I think this is gonna be our, like our new Mustang week kind of deal, but this is actually more fun. There's actually stuff to do and we can go rip tail the dragon. Maybe next year we'll have a tail the dragon meetup. Ooh, that'd be fun. Get like a hundred plus cars all rip at the same time. Someone's gonna crash, probably me, but you guys better come out next year. First time here, it was definitely fun. Uh, different from Mustang week for sure. More, you know, driving to do, I'd say. I don't think there's as many meets or maybe not as many meet locations, but the meet locations that they do have are pretty fire. I mean, they're from, you know, sun up to sundown. They got lights in the parking lot. So, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's way different, but I like it a lot. Ripping the tail of the dragon was fun. Um, definitely, I think with more people here, it'll be a lot more fun. So, I think this one is gonna be a good one for the books. The cops will stroke you here. Driver Ooh, one, Uncle John, he got stroked. Literally came right off the exit. Cop was in there as you're going down the hill. Bam! Yep. Shot him with the radar gun. They spit on their hand and then stroked. That's as stroked as you get, honestly. Yeah, and for the cops watching, I love you. And if y'all haven't checked out the Deals Gap, aka oh, yeah, Dragon, Tale of the Dragon video. The video is live. You can click the card that just popped up in the corner. We absolutely ripped for our first time. That was an experience. And uh, I think the girls had the most fun out of all of us. They were like, oh my god, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Absolutely not. But it was it was kind of fun. Kind of fun. You're like, okay, <laughs> I was... I was smiling like 50% of the time and then squealing the other 50% pedaling the brake on mine. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> To the convention center. Yay. Boosted! Damn! We all get this thing. That's gonna be me! <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta do your brakes red. I know. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Why is there a Camaro again? Dude, that sounds sick. Yeah, that's awesome. There it comes, what's up? I'm show you something. Hell yeah! How you doing, man? I'm gonna show what an ESS supercharger yeah, looks like. Yeah, motherhood, man. Let's check it out. Dude, that sounds good. Oh shit, you got coverage on everything. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Keep, I've been waiting on you. Put yours on. Put yours on your car, but that's what it's gonna look like when you get it. Hell yeah. You enjoying it? I am. Dude, it sounds sick. Oh man, oh, yeah. now I really want to get it done. We bought the house, and the house came up so damn early. Oh yeah, I've been following that. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get it done. I gotta get the oil pump gears done, and then I can start doing this. This looks sick, though, dude. It looks oh, incredible. Yeah. Sounds incredible. Now, can I have your uh, calipers? Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> the red looks yeah, really good. Did that come like that, or did you get them done? It come like that. Did they? That's all. He's got other stuff. Fifteen thousand dollars worth of stuff put on it. Bro, that ESS is sick. Pushing six seventy to the wheel. Six seven ninety three. Yeah. Oh, that's money. What um, what injectors you go with? It's got the GT five hundred. There's what it's gonna look like when you get it done. Hell yeah, dude. It looks great, man. And stuff. Oh, yeah. Sweet. You gotta get my phone. Thank you, y'all. Damn, dude. I wish mine was these asses. Dude, that thing coming in. Me and Chuck will take care of the install. That's, We're not offering warranty. That might not. We're not offering warranty. <laughs> We're not offering warranty. <laughs> we will do the install video yeah. for you. Y'all have a good You too, man. She sounded good. This is the first time y'all been to Tennessee? It is, yep, yeah. it is. You've never experienced the ponies? No, nah, but I'm coming. How does compare to the Mustang? Oh, dude, it's better. I've never been it's to better. Either. Don't even go to Mustang Week. This is, this is where you need to be. <laughs> Trust me. This is way more fun, in my opinion. Awesome. We need to keep it growing. Yeah, guys, pits. Everybody start booking your cabins for pits. I'm telling you, we're, we're boycotting, all right? This is it right here, dude. This thing's sweet. I would strangle a baby deer for that. Dude, yeah. tell me that's just not the best. Look at like, the wing. I like how you put Shelby on the wing. Tell me that's not the best looking like. It's just so good. Did you say grab a boat? Oh, 
up. There's a yellow. New Edge Mach. Let's go take a look at that thing. If I were to get another New Edge, I would obviously love to have a Mach 1 New Edge. By far one of the coolest ones. You like the yellow? Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. It's a clean car. I like it. I like it. It's awesome. Looks good. Hopefully we can find the Grabber Blue Dark Horse here. I have yet to see it. You like this color, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's nice. Damn, that's really nice, actually. The way it shines in the sun. It's the first green one I've seen. Do you like it? Yeah, it looks good. That wrap color is cool. Holy crap. I think it's an actual Boss 302 converted over. Wow. Grabber Blue, Boss. I have another right here. Georgia State Police GTS 650. Look at this thing, dude. Damn. That's clean. This one looks really good. Love the color Boston's on there. Damn, this lightning's clean. Jeez. These are essentially the Terminator Cobras, but in a truck form. Pretty cool. Should I sit in this car? Just do it. Hold on, there's people around it. <laughs> He's gonna lose his mind. Damn it! I was gonna go and sit in your car, dude. Oh, while you were talking, I was just gonna creep in and sit in. I would have been it. like, hey, what up? <laughs> I didn't know you had your own tent and everything. That's sick. Yeah, it's the third year we've done this. Oh, so. shit. That's cool as hell, man. Yeah. MPD, so they're the title sponsor, so because nice. of that, they're like, hey, you know, we want you to come be here every year. Oh, yeah, bro. What's good? Yeah. Oh, wait. You drive like that? Bro, so, what the? F Look at this. I can't even fit my finger in that. Yeah. So, good lord. You went off the deep end. You're like, you know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. It looks good, bro. It looks really good. That's it looks crazy. Point. It has changed a lot. Let me know when you're done taking that one. Alright, you're good? Alright, go ahead. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Better post that one. <laughs> Get a gross spurt. Oh, these, these are clean, too. I like that. Love the yellow. I'm a, I'm a sucker for yellow cars. This is the one. Like, if I got another one, that it has to be this. This is perfect. Literally, the CCWs, the Sonic Blue, the Whipple. This is cream of the crop, Cobra. Right? Oh, sweet. <laughs> What's going on? I like it. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Man. Absolutely. You too, bro. Here's a grabber dark horse. Non-track pack, but it's still dark horse. Dang. Want to sell the vet? Sell the vet. Can get you that. Probably gonna have to dish out some more money after that. But still, dude, that color is crazy. I do like that color. That's unique. You don't yeah. see those. UPR is not playing games. They have a whole ass semi truck. How you doing, bro? Yeah, good to meet you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Matt. Good to meet you, man. Hell yeah. Good to meet you. The mock over there in this one. So we come back to the car and we have another grabber blue handling pack. And we still have the ESS one right there. So that's pretty cool. Is there more down there? Oh, uh, yeah. It's wide open. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm loving it. It's my first time here for a book. Oh, dude. Hey, you care if I take a picture with you? Yeah, absolutely. Is this your car? Um, no. Oh, my God. I didn't even put two and two together. Oh, um, my oh God. My it's been a long day. <laughs> you can get in it, too, girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw your text. I figured you guys were gonna be here. We did tell the dragon today for the first time. We're going back. Cover Sam will be here tonight. Okay. One of the best experiences I've had. Yeah, yeah, first time ever. Hey, what's going on? Oh, shit. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Junior. Junior, good to meet you, bro. How you been? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Looking nice. Some nice cars. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful weather to look at them. Yeah. Honestly. Beautiful 350 in that orange. Jeez. That's nice. <gasps> Another one. The ESS. That's very nice too. I was talking with Clay, the guy that sold me the Mach 1. He's here. That was his Grabber Bliss 197. And I was telling him, I think there's one car I would sell the Mach for, and that would be for a GT350R Gen 2. That would be like 
the only car I think because I'm loving the Mach and it'd be hard to really like move on from it. Would you prefer the Mach or a GT350R? You can be honest. I, I like the Mach. Really? Yeah. Over the R? Yeah. I don't know. This is the Dream Fox build right here. Just this. Single turbo, Coyote swapped. It's perfect. I wonder if he has a T56 Magnum in here or something, but this is literally my dream Fox build. This is as best, this is the best it gets right here. Honestly, it really is. Oh my God, there's so many more Mustangs than I thought. This whole fucking lot is jam-packed. It's kind of deceiving looking from the front, isn't it? Ah, uh, guys, I hate to admit it, but I think I would do it. They just look so freaking good, man. Only issue, in my opinion, is obviously Gen 1 Voodoo could be a little iffy. But if it's Gen 2 Voodoo, you're in pretty good shape. Why are y'all doing this to me? Literally the only car I would get rid of Lucifer for right now. 1314 Greber Blue GT500. I would, sorry Lucifer, but I would. Is this a glass, oh my God, and it's a glass roof car. Jesus, extremely rare. And probably get damn near 65, 70K for this car depending on the mileage. All right, you guys have got to chill, man. Just talking about this damn car and it popped up. I really do like these Boss 302s in this color. I don't remember the color exactly. I wanna say it's a, uh, actually, is it Grabber Orange? <laughs> Grabber Blue Mock or the Orange? Okay, I love the Orange. I love the Orange. That's crazy, that goes hard. Damn, this thing is nasty. Your C7 or that? Dude, that thing, it. you really have to think about that? Yeah, I'd have to think about it because oh I love it. Oh my god, bit. guys, roast her in the comments. <laughs> and then we have this boost at 350. Good lord. I was actually just gifted something pretty cool and I figured now it's probably a good time to do it. Many of you may know I come from like a military slash police family. My uncle, my dad, uh, there's still currently cops here in Virginia. So I was gifted this uh, this American flag that's like embroidered with a uh, nice blue nice blue stripe. And no, it didn't touch the ground. I think we're gonna run this for a little bit, which means we have to grab the OG. I actually want to get like a 400 foot flagpole in the front yard and probably like a I don't know 60 by 100 foot American flag in the front yard. So if anybody watching this can make that happen. I don't know if it's legal or not, but let me know. And no, I'm not 4'11", I'm just not 6'8", and can't reach this freaking pole here easily. So, hop off. I'm an average height, like 5'10", do a little switcheroo here. I really do like the contrast of the red, white, and blue though, on the front of the garage. I think it's a really cool touch with the blue cars, but you know, we gotta, we gotta rep those boys in blue, man. We gotta rep them. This is the OG right here. I'm sure he had this hanging for a while, and left it when I bought the house. So we're definitely gonna keep this forever. Come on, brother. OG retired for just a little bit. Oh yeah, this one's sick. We gotta hang, oh goddamn. Look at that thing. God bless America. So you just watched the final footage of our trip to Tennessee, Pigeon Forge for Tale of the Dragon and stuff. And I have to say, definitely second place when it comes to Mustang related trips, because first place, Mustang week, where I proposed to Romina and stuff, that's always gonna take the cake. But as far as actual like car stuff, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Tale of the Dragon, all day, every day. And that's kind of why I'm making this video, because I wanted to share that last little bit of footage with you, but I'm ruined. I'm truthfully ruined after that because I've never gone somewhere to where you can actually use the car. Have meets going on, Mustangs everywhere, and Mustang week is like so good, but yet it is like so boring. Like, and then I hate to be like that because I'm very grateful for the event and the people that put it on and it's like something to do, but things Mustang week truly lack in comparison to Ponies of the Smokies is one, the freaking weather, untouchable. Absolutely untouchable. Two, depending on what you like better, I think the mountains are cooler, like views and stuff wise. It's more of like, I don't know, it's a better feeling to me. Let's be honest, Myrtle Beach, eh. No, somewhere like in Florida? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And three, which really takes the cake, is because in Pigeon Forge, you can not only sit around in a parking lot like you do 
Mustang Week. They did burn us this year, but you can hop in your cars with your boys and go drive and actually experience like a really good time. So that's it's kind of why I'm ruined, I think, in uh, that experience. I will never forget it, but I will most certainly be back every year. Speaking about going back, hopefully next year this thing will be ready to tow Maverick or Blucifer because I'm kind of working a little, little something on the side. I have a subscriber that watches the channel. He actually owns his own trailer company where he builds aluminum trailers, car haulers. Him and I are trying to put something together that makes sense to where we can have a aluminum trailer have big blue here all ready to go to tow but I am really trying to get this trailer done for the channel and I probably shouldn't have leaked that yet because I don't know if it's gonna happen but I just figured I'd tell you guys because I'm really excited about it because we'll have a freaking tow rig and if we have a tow rig and we have Lucifer, there could be a, a potential huge change navigation with that car and I'm uh, probably gonna be selling a lot of stuff off of it so that's all I'm saying about it I'm not leaking anymore I really 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 would like to make that whole vision a reality of having big blue over here putting some money some work into it making it really nice because the truck does have some wear and tear from being a northern truck but the fact is it has 60,000 miles a brand new transmission it's a four-wheel drive f-150 and if I can spice it up get everything tuned up you know get it really mechanically sound and solid which it is now but imagine if I put some time into it and then on top of it I get my very own personal aluminum car hauler like that could that could really change the game for me because I'll be more motivated to go to these events and turn Lucifer into a full-blown stick shift drag machine like I would love to do that it's hard to do that in the situation right now though because one I don't want to drive the car somewhere and actually try to get some seat time because Anything can happen, and if I'm stranded there, that just becomes a whole headache I do not want to deal with. If I have my own truck and I have my own trailer, that could really open some doors and some opportunities, and the fact that I'm trying to get a lift in the garage too, like that could all come full circle, and who knows, maybe that's the, the next step for the channel because to be honest, I'm getting really bored with that car and I don't want to get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. It's part of me. It's my identity, but I need to figure something out. Well, we have a break from some of this rain. Might just take Blucifer out for a little bit. Want to go check out that spot with this car, take some photos and stuff, but... <laughs> I have a few things on my mind regarding Blucifer. Now, nothing really bad, but I am bored and I need a solution to this. And I feel like there's only one solution that will really, uh, you know, fill that void when it comes to content with this car. And I know a lot of you like constantly message and comment and stuff saying you want Blucifer content. And I just feel like I have not been delivering like good, good Blucifer content. I really want that to change. And it's just, that's why I hope this like whole trailer ordeal works out because it's like, I could go make a tow rig. I'll have the trailer, I'll have Blucifer. And obviously this car will need a lot of changes to get it on the track and stuff. And one of those changes being, we need some slicks. We get some slicks. I get like an MSD two step installed. You know, we do some weight reduction, get the car back on E85, get some front runners. We'll rock the SVEs for now until we can get some welds. Getting into the racing, even if it's not going like stupid crazy overboard with it chasing sevens or anything like that i think it'd be a pretty cool touch and it's definitely something i'm really considering if all this goes through i've even thought about the fact that i would consider doing a 6r80 swap in this or built 6r80 that is and then down the line we could do a 321 motor setup with a single turbo and then we could run eights i don't know i've just been brainstorming i think it'd be really cool but a truck and trailer is like it has to happen if i want to do anything remotely close to that side note i've actually never been over here before oh there's mulch though i could use some of that i might have to go hit that guy up i have been thoroughly enjoying my new area though i've been learning more and more about the area it's very like Okay, is this van gonna, okay, cool, he's, oh, 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 he's still rolling, that was scary. The area is really dope though, I love it. It's not like as hectic as my old area. You can actually like enjoy yourself over here. The traffic's not as bad and the roads are pretty cool too. It's kind of more low key. So I've been exploring a little bit, learning a little bit. It's 
crazy too because the other day I had some like cheap ass 93 in this tank and every time I would get into it a little bit I would show my knock sensor pulling timing. I ended up running that tank really low. I went to Shell, which I typically do, but I've been bad about it recently. But I went to Shell, I put some fresh 93 in and the car just acts so different. If you're running into those issues with your boosted car too, the octane is super important obviously, but we need to get this thing back on the E85 like stat. I just need to show this car more love and just get it dialed. So that's the plan, boys. That is the plan. Definitely getting more into Hickville over here. I need to find, oh, and there's a cop. Hello, sir. Is that a Ford tractor? Oh, I couldn't tell. It was like the same color, but I don't know if they took the decals off or not. Dude, there's a motel right here. Bro, this is like some stuff you'd see on Hills Have Eyes or something like that. Oh, that driveway is not gonna fly with me. Dude, another cop. Holy shit. It's like GTA, you hop in a sports car and there's cops everywhere. Oh, there's horses. Dude, I want a horse so bad. Can anybody rent me their horse for a video? That is actually a great idea. If somebody watching right now has a horse that I can ride, I want to get a thumbnail of me on the horse with my two horse Mustangs on the side, and it'll be just a sick thumbnail, and I could, you know, ride a horse and just absolutely freaking send it. Oh my god, that's five. That's five freaking cop cars within two minutes, dude. What is happening? We gotta turn around though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get freaking lost. We're gonna try to do one of these doohickeys. Oh, there's a car coming. Oh my god. This is actually kind of sketch. What is down there? Whoa, windy roads. Should we do it? A windy road sign. Watch me get stuck in Blucifer Total. That'd be crazy. Let's go, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> See, that's why I love it out here too, man. Even though we're in Hickville, everybody appreciates cars. Like, it's so sick. Idea where this goes. Oh, sorry, using your driveway. Your house is really nice. Very nice, matter of fact. I would love to have it. Didn't just thought my reverse gave out on me. That would have been really bad. Oh, we're on a fucking mountain, that's why. Alright, I'm gonna go windows up just to pass this guy again. I don't know why I'm thinking I'm a weirdo. Railroad tracks and a 500 front end conversion does not mix well, but I think we're okay. I'm freaking addicted. I just want to go back to freaking tail of the dragon and do some ripping. That was just insanely fun. And actually, Brandon with the Ruby. Uh, Paxton 10R80 car told me, oh shit, someone just got pulled over. But Brandon told me that there's actually another road that's really similar four hours away in North Carolina. I think this one's like 36 miles with like 400 turns. So not as aggressive as Tail of the Dragon, but it is a nice stretch and it would be a fun time. So I think we're gonna do that soon. There are cops freaking everywhere out here, dude. Like this is insane. I don't even, where, where did I move? Listen, Hanover County, if you're watching, I'm on your side, okay? I support boys in blue. I'm not out here doing anything reckless. Just trying to make a living like the rest of us, okay? I, I, I'm being a good boy and I promise you, you will, I'll never be an issue. I will never be an issue, just don't fuck with me. That's all I'm asking. Completely off topic, I, it just hit my brain again. But listen, if somebody has a horse that is willing to drive to my house, with the horse on a horse trailer so I can ride the horse around my neighborhood. I'll let you drive like one of my Mustangs or something. Shoot me an email at I want to ride a horse at AOL.com. Let's we'll set it up and we'll make it happen. Email me at DerekBrandProductions at gmail.com and I mean it. I would absolutely make a fun video driving both of my Mustangs and then switching to a POV of me freaking getting it on a horse in my neighborhood. Like I really want to do that. I've never ridden a horse before either. I'm under 200 pounds now. I don't think I'll break its back. Hit me up. But thank you all again for tapping into today's video. It means a ton. Let's go and hit 2,000 likes on this video and I really do want somebody to pull up with their horse and their horse trailer and I'll, I'll ride a horse around the neighborhood. GoPro on the head.
<laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Make sure you guys go check out Monday's video if you haven't already. It's right there on the screen. And matter of fact, you can go check out last week's video too. Such good videos. Again, congrats to Renee for winning our custom exhaust. We have another little mini giveaway coming soon with new merch. So stay on the lookout for that. Hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time for another video. And go check out my uh, my other forms of social media. I'm going to post a little photo right here. I don't want, want to say it. Much love, fam. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.